So come and join us for a road trip to Toronto. Woohoo! <laughs> Hi, and welcome to Mrs. Cotton Candy's Darling Life. Hello there, my darlings. I hope you're all doing well and having a lovely, a lovely day. Um, I'm so excited today because I'm going to be taking you on a little bit of a road trip to Toronto, um, to the city. Um, and the reason we're going there is because, I don't know if you can tell by my t-shirt, it says today's special and I'm not sure if you remember but the very beginning of this year um, I did a video um, my what I got for Christmas um, video and in that video I showed this this shirt and um, today's special sweater that I got and mr. dress up sweater anyways we're going to the Toronto Museum and there's uh, the lady that plays Muffy Mouse. She is doing a talk. So she's doing, there's two talks, one at one o'clock today and one at three o'clock. We got tickets for the three o'clock, <laughs> the three o'clock show. So I'm very excited. And um, apparently we're gonna be able to meet her. Um, and we're also meeting another um, lady as well. Um, I'm actually on a Mr. Dress Up Facebook book group and that's where um, I started chatting up with this other lady so we're gonna meet her too and um, I'm not sure how much I will be able to film but whatever I can film and bring you guys along I will and um, today's special and mr. dress up were both my favorite shows growing up and um, I watched them quite religiously all the time on TVO and TVO is um, Ontario TV here in Canada in Ontario <laughs> and anyways it was a children's it's a children's show I will read you um, what uh, today's special uh, is all about the show and um, Today's special, it's about to appear, it's about to appear, with magic in the air, a world for us to share, with friendly faces, hoping that you want to meet us there, for today's special, it's about to appear, it's about to appear, today's special, shout it loud and clear, today's special, and then today's special, is a Toronto road trip to see Muffy the Mouse. I'm actually going to be, yeah, Muffy the Mouse and Sam Crenshaw and, oh yeah, Mrs. Um, Penny Packer. We're going to be meeting her as well. So, from today's special. So, come along with us and join in the fun and on this road trip to Toronto. In the pouring rain, that's what I look all Ends up walking bags. back and forth in different directions trying to find it. But we did make it, and it's like uh, 1.30 right now. And uh, there's, like I said, there was a talk at 1, and then there's a talk at 3, so the talk at 1 is happening right now. Um, but I wanted to tell you, I had a, um experience. We went, I had to stop in at Tim Hortons. And... Get directions. And I needed to go to the washroom, and the washroom didn't have any toilet paper. I know that's TMI, but... So we had to wait, and then there was a lady holding a little um, little terrier dog. And uh, the little dog came at me, like, towards me, and started looking at my feet. And I said, well, what's the name of the dog? And the lady said, uh, Teddy. Teddy, I said it. And I started to cry. She said, she did. that dog really likes you. Yeah, that, I couldn't believe it. What a sign. You know, I was having a little meltdown and I needed a sign, so that was awesome. <laughs> Anyways, we're here at the museum and uh, our talk starts at 3 o'clock. That's right. 
This fluffy mouse. Huh? Oh, well, I didn't get all of that. It's a little hard. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. So just quickly do this and then I want to make some pictures if you don't mind. Lobby, is that okay? Oh my god, there's the, the today's special on VHS. Yeah. Are you kidding me? And then there's a record. Wow. Oh my god, puzzles, yeah. And Finnegan with, and that was Truffles, who is a little pink amorphous character. Who, you know, what are we gonna make today out of paper?
your toilet paper rolls, Mr. <laughs> so that was a fun show to do. Ernie, like like Bob Hummy, is apparently giant. Wonderful, wonderful people to work with. Um, so that was Uncle Bobby's another show that I had um, had did some puppets on. Um, this also tells you what was happening, like the the Bloor Danforth line was going in in 1965. There's some some nice uh, history here of what was going on in Toronto. Uh, today's special was absolutely nice. fantastic show to work on. Um, we were the number one show on Nickelodeon for a while in the States. We have a, a huge following in the United States. And we still have a huge following up here all these years later. Everybody's so nostalgic. I think nostalgic is really driving a lot of retail right now, you know. And um, the, the people who are wearing these wonderful t-shirts with, uh, it's from an animation cell from the beginning of the show. Um, Retro Kids has gotten a license to print out all, print money essentially. <laughs> is what it is. Um, so uh, today's special is kind of fun. I'll talk about it more over there when you get to that. Um, to that. Okay. Yeah. And uh, yeah, all the puppets work like this. this. <laughs> and um, I was just saying the other night I gave a workshop here on puppeteering for television. And I'd like to do another one if anyone's interested. Television workshop for the CBC because they were auditioning other, you know, and you can. You can do whatever you want. It's a great way to rehearse. And I do that when I'm rehearsing for something. I'll just use my laptop. And, uh... <laughs> 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 and you remember the, the, the famous stuff? Uh, yes. Far. That's awesome. I'm teaching, uh, teaching folks how to... Today's special introduces young viewer. Today's special introduces young viewers to a world previously only imagined, a big stores children's department at night, and encourages them to take part in the many adventures of its inhabitants. Jeff, a store. Window Mannequin becomes a real person when his friends pronounce a special set of magic words while he, while he is wearing his magic hat. He learns about the many things that human beings take for granted. Shoes, fruit, camping, family music. With the help of Jody, the display designer, Sam, the puppet security guard, and Muffy, the mouse, who speaks in rhyme, and the television audience who guides him in setting up displays correctly. Sam works as Sam works a computer that speaks directly to viewers, challenging them, challenging them to solve the picture puzzles and mime games that appear on the screen. Each program th themes include new songs and dances along with game stories, rhymes, and surprise appearances by performers. <laughs> Where we at? Where at? Where at? We're showing. Yeah. I ordered a Shirley Temple, but with no, there's no cherries. They've forgotten the cherries, but it's still good. Just happy to have something to drink at the moment. My husband, he's just having the plain water with lemon. And these are the desserts that they have here. Funnel cakes. So yeah. So tired. It's okay. She's gone now. So here's our Caesar salad to start. I'll be having a Caesar salad too. And here are our meals. We're having the same thing. It's a roast beef sandwich. Of course, they're fries, jelly sauce, and I think they give a pickle. There. Sorry, I gotta do it this way because it's so dark. Sorry, my darlings. Oh, Rob's showing us here. Yep. And chalet sauce, and you get four shredded sauce. This is what we're having for dinner tonight at Swiss Chalet. Always so good for so little.
So hi my darlings, I just wanted to come on, hopefully you are still here um, in the vlog, I just wanted to come on and um, just tell you a little bit more about our, our day and ta um, time at the um, museum and meeting Katsy and Nina, um, they were wonderful, um, both lovely ladies, we really enjoyed meeting them. And um, but I want to start out. Um, so we had we went to Toronto, and um, the drive was down. Was um, it was actually better than I thought. But I mean, it was um, bad rain. Um, and then we we were able to find a parking spot, somewhat pretty good, you know. And then that's where things kind of got um, like it was still pouring rain and um, we were trying to find where the museum was so that was we got a little lost um, but really where we parked it was kind of just I think like around the corner but we went some other way so we got all soaked and everything um, like we did have an umbrella in the vehicle but we didn't end up bringing it because my husband said like it was supposed to get clear up later in the day so anyways um, so we did get soaked and I'm like uh, to my husband, I was just like, okay, you know, we were kind of lost and we'd ask people on the street and they had no idea where we were talking about and apparently we had the right street address, but I was calling it um, Toronto Museum, like there's the Royal Museum and I knew it wasn't that, but I was calling it the Toronto Museum and it's not the Toronto Museum. I'll, I'll link it down below, it's called my museum but I'm not even saying it right but I'll link it down below if you want to go check it out um, because um, we just had a fabulous time and went out just to quickly end that little story about meeting the little dog um, I was so grateful um, for that for that little moment and I just thought you know Teddy's bringing me some comfort uh, you know I was all soaked and tired <laughs> just you know was hoping that we were going to be able to find the place in time so I was just so you know it was just really nice so anyways so then we finally did make it to um oh and that's the other thing at the Tim Hortons well I when they finally put the toilet paper in I went to the washroom and my husband um was talking with one of the Tim Hortons Tim Horton's employees and he was so nice and helped my husband and even printed off a little map um, for him because my husband's phone died that's another thing I should say in all of this and I don't really have a phone like I don't have a phone so um, he was using that as like a GPS like for maps where we were supposed to go so that was so nice of the Tim Horton's people the employee to do that for us um, so thank you to them. Obviously, they're not going to watch this. But And if you're still here watching, thank you so, so much. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. If you're enjoying it, please give it a, a thumbs up. That would be great. Um, so anyway, so then we, we did go. We finally found it. And um, they already had, like, there was two talks, one at 1 o'clock and one at 3 o'clock. We were going for the 3 o'clock. So the people... Um, for the one o'clock we're already in the museum it's just um like it's like i think it's like a big place but the actual place where they were having the talk and the where the museum artifacts and stuff were was small which you probably already seen in my little vi video prior to me talking here um anyways so we just wait there was a nice bench and we just waited my husband had a little nap and um and then um, people were fil filtering out so i thought i'd go in and try to get a little bit of video and some pictures before it started to fill up again and that's when we met Katsy um, I hope I'm saying your name right uh, I met her on the Facebook uh, I'm on a Facebook page for Mr. Jessup on Facebook and so that's where I met her like just talking and stuff and then she was grateful um, I was lovely enough to meet us there and um, she had already knows Nina and Nina is the is a puppeteer if you didn't know um, and she did um, she, like she was on shows like the Today Special, um, the Polka Dot Door and several other um, shows so anyways um, so we got to meet her too Nina and she's such a lovely talented fabulous lady and um, 
I even like we got to talk to her as well and even my husband had a little um, chat with her because she had said in that her talks that um, well I'm not gonna get into all that because uh, but he had his own little time with her and um, she was just so so nice and lovely and uh, and very talented lady like to be a puppeteer like there's so much you have to involve like she like makes the puppets she also like um, you know, does the talking and the singing and um, the movement and you have to be a certain, like for the camera, it has to be a certain angle so you don't like see their bodies and things like that. And she also does uh, puppeteering classes. She gives out classes and things like that. Just, just awesome. And it was just an awesome, lovely uh, talk and I, we really enjoyed it. So, and then um, afterwards we said goodbye to the both of the lovely ladies and uh, we headed home. We were going to go to the cheese factory, cheese factory but um, we didn't end up doing that. As you can see, we went to Swiss Chalet and we had a lovely little um, dinner there and then we made it home safe and sound and I was pretty shocked. Like, like the 401 was kind of busy but not as busy as it had like other times that we've been on it so um, my husband got us home safe and sound and I, uh, this is a day that I'll never forget because I, I know you guys can't see it but I think I've shown it to you many times um, today's special is like one of my top favorite show of all times and Mr. Dress Up um, those are my two from growing like when I was a little um, little kid or whatever um, anyways so I was just, I, I'll never forget that day. It was a wonderful day. She even um, autographed our my tickets for me, which was really nice. I'll show that to you. Um, I'll put a little clip in. Uh, but yeah, so thank you all so, so much for joining us and coming along. I hope you enjoyed. And if you're ever in the Toronto area, and um, I mean, I'm not really sure how long they're having this exhibit there. Um, probably not too much longer, I don't think, but um, if you're ever going that way to Toronto, check out this museum because um, it goes by donations and uh, they did a really fabulous job. So I'll put the museum um, down below so you can check it out. And I'll also put my other video that I did um, for what's, what I got for Christmas because that shows all the stuff that I got um, for today's special and all that. Um, I'll put that down below as well if you want to check that video out. Um, because it kind of cor correlates to this, sort of. And um, remember to always believe in yourself. I believe in you. And you truly will go far. Toodaloo for now, my darlings. And thank you so, so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for all your love and support. I truly appreciate it. And I hope you have a good rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this. And um, please, if you're new, please, um, we'd love to have you. Please subscribe. If, if you like this type of content and um, if you like today's video please give it a thumbs up it would be greatly appreciated and um, have a great one you guys remember there's magic in the air and a world for us to share yeah. toodaloo thank you bye